All right, so a little of the day is shred and copper in the bucket, guys. There's a bucket there. It's full of copper. So, yeah, um, I'm off because they're a little till noon, I think, 12, 12, 30, something like that. So I'm off to the scrapyard. It is Saturday. I think I'll post this today. I don't know yet. We'll see. Maybe Monday. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. You'll get it when it gets up, guys, because I'm not sure what day I'm going to post it. <laughs> but anyhow. And the load I took out this morning was $127, guys. They give me $130. They always round it up usually. So it's pretty good. Yeah. So there's that goodness, guys. Woo! There's some goodness. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? Sweet! Some sweet goodness. I love it! But yeah. My nephew was busy. He pulled the tractor out for me. So the one tire kind of came off it. So that's all right. Uh, Brian says the wheels were turning when he pulled it out. So that's good. That's a good thing. So this tire or this tractor, which is left of it, it's an oldie, is going to be going out. I talked to him up the scrapyard. So probably next week because they're, they're a little swamped right now. So I think they said Tuesday or Wednesday next week. So I'm okay with that. So. Brian also pulled the rat out of it. I'll show you guys. He pulled the aluminum cup rat out of it. So it's a little bit of a monkey up here. It's getting drier though. It was a lot worse. So there's the rad. Look at that. Isn't that sweet? But I just got to take that piece off there. Piece off the front. And this here has just got a sides on it. A little bit of steel on the sides. So look right here. Yeah, right on. Mosquitoes are already starting. Look at that. Mosquitoes. There's still a bottom piece of that that's stuck in there. So I'll have to cut it out. But I got until uh, next week, so I'll probably take my cut off or my grinder, maybe grind those the pieces off that's holding it in there and then yank it out. Put the uh, chain around it and pull it out once I cut the uh, piece off because it's kind of, I think it's still strapped in there somehow. But I will take a look at it better because uh, he said the shaft runs through it or something. So as you can see, it runs through here. Well, that runs right on through it. But anyhow. We're gonna catch this baby, and then he pulled it out there. The car was for me that was way over there. So yeah, Brian was busy, but that's not else what he did. Oh, Brian was busy while I was gone in the scrapyard. Yeah, I love when my nephew shows up. Always get stuff done. Yeah. Then I had a flat tire today. Well, a blue tire today. Thank goodness my nephew or my niece was behind me. So yeah, I had to change my tire on the front of the truck. I got uh, tires on the front. I changed the uh, thank goodness for different rims. I have like four sets of rims for my truck. Brian was doing TVs today, so all I got left to do is just take these out if I want to take the boards out and then cut the cords off them. He did everything else. He pulled the uh, things out for me, so I just got to cut the cords off these babies. Oh, yeah! Brian got all the copper pieces. I'll show you the copper goodness he took out for me. I mean, there's still copper in here, guys, like this. This would be an idea if I want to take these out. So, but Brian got the big chunks out for me. I might take these boards all out because they just pull it down. And then you got this piece here. I think this piece here will show us the aluminum. So if it's just aluminum wire, I'll cut it. If it's just aluminum, I'll throw it in the of aluminum. So I'll show you guys the goodies he took out of it. So when I'm done with these, I'm just going to push them down in there out of the way for now. They got to go to the dump. What's left? It'll just be the tubes. Right, put my tractor away for me. And look at my goodness, guys, plus the ride. Look at all those goodness. Oh, look at all that. Ooh, sweet. Yeah. I'll tell you, one of the best investments I ever made was this massy might have cost me a pretty penny but it was worth it guys it was well worth it yep and uh i'll tell you best thing i ever invested in it, we use it for everything around here so as you can see i've still got lots laying around i'm still cleaning up so slowly guys slowly so we'll get there anyhow like i said i had a flat tire on the passenger side a blowout, and like I said, my niece was behind me anyhow because I was coming back from the scrapyard, and she was coming from Sydney, so. And she's like, oh, and then she just ran me to the house. It was like close, a little close to the house. So Brian was already here, so he helped change it, and between the three of us, it took like no time at all on all my tools. Yeah, pretty much everything's on the side of my seat of my truck anyhow, except for the jack. I didn't have like, I wasn't using those crappy jacks they have. And I had to come and get a tire because I wasn't taking the tire from underneath. And I already, like I told you, I already have two or three other, other sets of tires. I have a steel set of rims, two aluminum sets of rims. So, and now I got to change the back ones because I got the other aluminum ones on the front right now. So I got to change them. These are the steel rims. These are the two that are left. I got to change them tomorrow. So, but the two front ones are changed. See, they're changed. They're done already. All dundy. Sweet. They look good, but I'm happy. 
So thanks, Brian. If you're listening to this, if you're watching this, you probably are. Usually you do. I appreciate it, Brian, you coming today. It's a big help. And uh, Terry Lee, I appreciate you helping uh, be behind me and, and changing my tire and help me out. Well, I didn't really have to do much today. You just kind of did it for me. It's great having nephews and nieces, guys. They're awesome. They're good kids. But anyhow, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.